2020 was a challenging season for Cedar Creek as a young Pirates team finished with a record of 3-5. and five. Heading into 2021, the Pirates are embracing the clean slate of a new season as they look to right the ship in Egg Harbor City. It was tough at times to build relationships just because we weren't with each other as much as you usually are. Um, then we got going back in you know late February, early March in the weight room. We were with, with each other every day. Uh, we built relationships. These kids are, are fighting like hell, you know, every day to, to get out here and work. They're doing all the right things so far. So I think our relationships are a lot stronger than they were a year ago, number one. And we're further along in the process of what we want to do. Definitely, we got some dogs now. Like last year, you know, it was just do whatever. Like just uh, adversity wasn't really facing it well. This year, I feel like we're really competing. We're getting right every day. We're practicing hard. Offense versus defense, we're really flying around. We're getting it in. Everybody wants to win. Everybody want to get back to where we were sophomore year with the championship. Cedar Creek returns a talented group of seniors with a ton of experience, led by 2020 JSZ All-Zone wide receiver JoJo Bermudis. The senior speedster is one of the most sought-after talents in the state after reopening his recruitment this summer. Bermudis is a versatile athlete with the ability to score from anywhere on the field, but the senior believes we have seen just a taste of what's to come this season from himself and his teammates. It's great, like we put in the new plays to give me an open space. I feel like we're gonna be ten times better as last year because the summer we got summer to work out, and yeah, I feel like we're gonna score a lot more points. Just a different kind of kid, man. He's he he gets in and out of breaks, you know, better than than anyone I've seen at this level. Um, you know, he wants the ball. He's hungry. He's a competitor. Comes out here and works. Um, has the right mindset on a day-to-day -day basis. Doesn't back down to anyone, um, you know, and, and it's a credit to him. You know, every day he does come out here and try to work to get better. He pushes the other kids around him. While Bermudis will garner most of the attention on offense, the Pirates have no shortage of playmakers for quarterback J.C. Landesini. Seniors Elijah Smalls, Zach Rickey, and Shahid Thomas will be among the names to watch on the offensive side of the football. We talk about it as a staff a lot. I got six or seven guys I feel very confident getting the ball to. I believe I have the best playmaker in, in New Jersey and in, in JoJo Bermudez, but you know we got other kids around him that also you know weren't getting touches, and, and when they get those touches, I have extreme confidence in their ability to do some things with it. We all lock in over the summer and we all just began working. We all compete against each other one-on-one, -on -one, so we always getting each other better. So we, I feel like we're going to have a breakout here. Defensively, the Pirates turned to the veteran leadership of six players entering their third season as starters. Senior linebackers Elijah Usher and CJ Resto will lead the way after combining for over 150 tackles as juniors. Cedar Creek will also see contributions from senior defensive end Jamal Chapman, as well as Bermudis, Thomas, and Ricky in the secondary. We just got to go out there, fly around. Sophomore year, we had a lot of players that played all the time. You know, Shahid, CJ, JoJo, Zach, everybody. We got a lot of three-year starters coming back. This year, we got everything back. I think we're going to fly around. I think we're going to really lock stuff down. I have six three-year starters on that side of the ball. Two of them are my middle linebackers, CJ Resto and, and Elijah Usher, but we got guys in the back end and Zach Ricky, Shahid Thomas, guys that have played a lot of a lot of games. You know, Jamal Chapman, another one, you know, guys that have played championship games uh, in as sophomores uh, that are ready to do it. I don't want to say we were humbled, but you know, we're hungrier now more than ever to to get to some things done. Cedar Creek will be on the big stage twice to open the season as the Pirates will face Scotch Plains Fanwood at the Battle at the Beach in Ocean City, followed by a trip to Rutgers University to face Willingboro at the Rumble on the Raritan. Reporting from Egg Harbor City, I'm James Mooney for JerseySportsZone.com.